It's most people just, just typically in nature like to focus on things that they're good at instead of what they're weak at. Being a competitive person, I just hate to have any weakness. So I'm constantly looking for things that I'm not so good at and trying to improve upon those things. Because at the end of the day, I know that I'm going to be so much harder to beat if I have three solid lifts. Because a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And it's really easy to make excuses and say that I'm not built for powerlifting. I'm not built for the 74 kg class because I'm 5 foot 9 and I have long arms and long legs and whatever, but I just try not to give in to any of that bullshit. I have people all the time tell me, but I'm not built for powerlifting. Well, I mean, <laughs> look at me, neither am I. I'm 5 foot 9 with the wingspan of a Boeing 727 airplane. I compete against people who are on average five foot three to five foot six and here I am towering over them and on top of that how is a Canadian kid supposed to go against these European lifters who have been lifting since they were seven years old and win I mean doesn't that just make no sense whatsoever that's just completely impossible right but you see there's always going to be these types of people no matter what you do in life that try and look for excuses and things so that they don't have to put in the hard work and they don't need to do what is actually required to be the best at something. Oh, but Hancock is just exception to the rule. Josh is just the genetic freak. He just has something that no one else has. I mean, I'm not the first champion and I'm definitely not gonna be the last champion to have these people undermine our success in whatever sport that we are in due to being called quote genetic freaks being called a genetic freak is not an insult the only time I take it and it kind of rubs me the wrong way is when the people who say it say it in a condescending manner as if I don't have to work hard and or that I did not work hard to get to the level that I'm at in the sport and that's the thing that drives me nuts. They say it as if some prophecy came down years ago and said that in 2014, uh, the mighty Josh Hancock will make his way onto the world stage and he will conquer them all. Something crazy like that. They say this in a condescending manner as if I'm an exception to the rule. As if I don't spend six days a week in the gym for two to two and a half hours per training session destroying my body. As if I'm not constantly looking for things that I can approve upon. As if I don't spend my weekends in when everyone else my age is out drinking and having fun. As if I didn't listen to O oh Canada play on my iPod 15 to 20 times when I was competing for the world championships that day. As if I did not picture how amazing it would feel to have our national anthem play as I won for me, my family, and my country and all my friends back home. But oh no, I'm just a genetic freak. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a victim to this sport. I'm doing this because I love it.